Hi everyone, welcome to Shalane Makes I'm Lorraine. So this is a Happy Mail video, excuse me, <clears throat> got a frog in my throat. I'll be went out and picked up a nice cat for me. Anyways, okay, so um, my one video that I did um, the other day, because I got Happy Mail as well, it, um, I don't know what happened to it. I, it uploaded the wrong video. Anyways, so I deleted that and I am in the process of uploading the first video. I'm going to try and combine these two, this one, and add the other one um, at the end. So I have one from Timu. I've already opened this. I've already seen it because my husband asked me what I got. And a little while back, I ordered uh, mystery bags from Aberdeen Wools um, in Ontario. And it came today. I wasn't expecting it today. I thought it would come um, next week. So it kind of looks like Christmas wrapping paper. That one I have not opened. I will do that one after I do the Timu. But I will open it now so that it is open and we don't have too much um, crinkly. Okay, always use different scissors for cutting because I have these scissors for everything else. These are my yarn scissors. Blue handles are yarn scissors. I have uh, uh, another one or two pairs in the other rooms and this one here in the bedroom because I do most of my crocheting and makes here and I will also show you my bucket and what I've already done so I'll I guess I'll do that first and then we'll get to the happy mail okay so I put my yarn scissors back these scissors go in my basket beside my bed I put those in there because so I always know where they are and of course, I don't have a table. My table is full, so excuse my adjusting. I slide down. All right, so my bucket. This is going to be for $5 items. Now there are items in here that are not $5 now. These are just things that I've made since, <coughs> since I registered for the exhibition in October the comic and anime exhibition here in town so I don't have to worry about that it's going to be a long day because it starts at 10 in the morning and it is at our stampede grounds in the field house so people that are going to be coming there are going to be coming to see and to shop so I'm looking forward to it hoping to get some really nice sales while I'm there and uh, nice that I don't have to go out of town because then it costs more for your expenses so it is a six it's actually a six and a half foot table uh, Wi-Fi and power are available according to my contact person cost me $65 so it starts at 10 she said it usually winds down somewhere around 7 o'clock so long day I did get from Timu I did get a insulated bag and um, to put our snack stuff, I think I showed that. But um, it's, yeah, I, I didn't show it. I just told you approximately how, what size it is. I'm gonna pause, it, pause this for a second. It'll be longer for me than for you. And I'll go and get it, because it's in the other room. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So here is, gotta move it down a little bit. Okay, here is my insulated bag. It's collapsible, got nice handles on it. Two handles, one on each side. Okay, so this is the whip. And, and then how deep it is. So nice size, nice size inside. I'm going to pick up some 
ice packs from Dollar Tree. If anybody doesn't know, that's where I work and it's across the street from me. So when I say from work or you know, you know. It's very convenient, low stress, and uh, we work with good um, people. People there is good. We've got maybe um, a dozen people that work there. So, but it is a fair size store. Uh, we do, our store does um, training for management. So it is training store. It's the only one in Western Canada. So we have people come from uh, Manitoba to British Columbia. So, all right. So that's that. So I got that. Now, like I was saying, it's going to be a long day. So we definitely need that. We need to bring water with us. We need snacks, uh, maybe some sandwiches. But, and I convinced my husband to come with me because this is going to be a bigger one than what I've done. I've done all of mine by myself with the exception of my last one, which was my first outdoor t um, market. It was actually a garage sale, but you could get the table. So it worked out nice. I doubled uh, the amount of money what I brought there. So I, I made twice my float, which was nice um, because we were up against a couple of uh, well-known um, community events going on in our city. So it is a small city. Um, I say small, it's uh, 63,000 people. Or is it 65? But 65 at the most, somewhere around there. So comfortable. Okay, so that's that. Now, my bucket I was showing you. I did show you my lazy egg from Pokemon that I made myself, my own pattern. I did not write it down. Um, I'm thinking I may do, like I'd like to do some more and possibly write down the pattern for it because um, this was just for like freehand. Okay, so I got that in my bucket. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a $5 item or not. I got my Yoda, which I showed on my other video, my baby Yoda. So this is the green alien, baby alien, a.k.a. Baby Yoda because copyrights so um, this I got the pattern off of YouTube or not YouTube pardon me off of Etsy and everything worked out great except for when I went to do the robe when I went to the, do the robe I did it with the same size hook same type of yarn and um, it turned out way too big so I made my own and doing that in doing that I also made holes for the arms and the button and it does come off there we go it does come off and open up okay now the other thing I did different was I did the feet different on the pattern it had long two long strands I guess for the legs and then the feet and they that's and you just attach them at the top well, I didn't like the way that looked, so I just attached my feet to the body. Okay, so and of course, and it's got the collar here. So that's my Yoda, and it's not going to be five dollars, but it's just in that bin so that I know what I've made and how much I've made for the event. Okay, then I've got I've got some axolotls in there that I did. I'm sure I already showed you that. Pattern was also, I believe, from Etsy, but I'm not sure. That may have been a free pattern. or I think I have a PDF for that. So if I can remember and find it, I will mark it down because I do have um, ones that I've done and um, that are in PDF form and um, ones that I want to make in a binder and the binder is across the room of course you never think of all those things when you get ready to uh, start your video okay then I have Pokemon balls I have eight of these that I did now these are bigger than my original one that I did 
and it's weird same yarn but I think I think I may have used a different size hook for these for the, this one here so this one's five dollars I may make this into a keychain I'm not sure or try to do smaller ones for keychain so that's in there and then I did um, recently this past week yeah about the last week I did eight of these they're in there my oxalados and then I did some more Oops. I have a bowl here with some stuff in that I did and some that are not finished quite finished yet so um, the oxalados that are in my my bin right now are made with um, velvet yarn. These I made with acrylic. So I did this one this week. I did a pink one. This one I put safety eyes on. This one I did not to make it baby friendly. And uh, so I got those. Now I've got some more oxalados I did in the velvet but these are not finished yet these still need to have their tails and gills on them these are my stuff okay I did a little gummy bear this is off of Riddler this is a free pattern this is with acrylic yarn okay I may make this into a key ring or keychain then I did some stress balls. Okay, this one here has safety eyes on it. Then I used a couple of other different, um, these, this is variegated yarns, still um, the velvet, but I didn't put safety eyes on these. So those are done. I'm just gonna leave those like that. I haven't decided on a price for those. Okay, so that's, oh, and I got, yeah, that's it for my bucket, or my bowl, and I am in the process of doing a cinema roll from Pokemon, so here is, here she is, I got the ears to add, and then her face, I think, now they have felt for the eyes and the mouth and and the blush. I think I'm just going to use a Q-tip and put some of my blush on. Uh, but I think I'm going to embroider or um, use the yarn for to make the eyes. Okay, so that's that. That goes in that bowl for not done yet. Oh, and I did myself a bat. This is also from Riddler. Sorry for the crinkling again. This is my bat. This is also from Riddler. This is just made with acrylic yarn. Now, I when I was making this and going to put the, the wings on, I had my my um, tail in to read to sew it on in the wrong spot. In doing so, I placed the first wing on backwards because this is the front. So of course, I just did the other one the same way. But there it is. Looks okay. I did this I want to make some ghosts as well because the exhibition is the 5th of October around here a lot of people are big into Halloween so hopefully these will sell my Halloween stuff all right that's that now my Timu I got yesterday today's Tuesday got yesterday this little bag is pom-poms. I got white because white goes with everything. Now this one I kind of, and they've got the little elastic here. The elastic loop that you try now. That you put through. Okay. So there is the pom-pom. Now of course they're in here so they're tiny they're smaller 
but that's about the size. And I may now I'm going to look and see about getting some larger ones, but this is still a good size. Now these are for the toques that I'm going to make on my central that should be coming either later this week or next week. Now, what happened with the central? I did get the central and I did show it. When I went to use it, I started, it, got it set up, got it started, worked a couple of rows, was okay, and then the crank, it stuck. It wouldn't, it wouldn't advance anymore. I could go back a bit, but then it, it would same thing. So I took a video and I requested a refund on it and sent it back to Timu. Um, I did not have to wait for them to receive the um, the central. As soon as they got notification of the um, shipment, once I dropped it off at the post office and it was free shipping for the return, later that day I got my credit back. So I ordered a new one. Um, cost me maybe a couple of dollars more, but I'm not sure. No, actually, maybe, maybe around the same because I did order some other stuff and it only cost me like eight dollars. So um, it covered most of the most of it. The price that I got it for, it was not as low as that, but I got it at a price where I hardly had to pay anything. Okay, so that's that. So my idea is to put the pom-poms on and let's see there's something else I have. I'm not sure if it's in this bag. Crinkle crinkle. Sorry there's a lot of crinkling. Trying to find what I'm looking for. So I can let you know. Oh, maybe I don't have them here. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that other? I remember now where I put them. to put them somewhere. I ordered some um, iron-on patches and I'm going to put those on uh, the front of the hats from that I make with the central. Okay, if I come across them I will show you. So I did order some, oh found them! This, this was what I was looking for because I stuffed them in here. We're so opening. All right, now these are not the other ones. I, just, I did receive some other ones. I got this one. Sorry for the glare. And I got more crinkling. I'll have to put a, I'll have to put a warning sign on my title. Crinkling, lots of crinkling involved. I know some people it irritates their ears. Okay, so Paw Patrol, I got this one and this one. Now there are some other ones that I've seen that I like, but I think they're going to be too big, so I didn't order them. Or they were not iron-on. They were ones that you had to sew. So right now I'm just working on the ones that are for iron-on, because it makes it easier for me. Less sewing, the better. All right. In here so I know so I can keep them all together I will put my other ones all in one spot all right these I thought were smaller than they were than they are and I think this is does it say how many is in here ten pieces 
Oh, they're almost two. They're almost three inches. I thought these were smaller, but I got these originally for to put um, my um, to use for tags for my items. But I will come up with something to do with these. Okay, and that's their wood. Okay, and I got. I got these hair clips for zipper poles or back buddies. Or back buddies, backpack buddies. Different colors. And they just you can see there on both sides. So I got those. got this is for um, applying adhesive so glue for the glue the liquid glue Got that okay and I got this this is for people use it for um, card making that type of thing I got this for uh, making um, doing with my um, cardstock. Also, too, I thought this would be handy for sewing for when you need to poke out, the, um, move the hand or the corners, get, the, get into the corners. I thought this would be good, so I got that. Now I got some. I got a bunch of diamond painting stickers. And I'll show you those in a moment. I got some of these clips for that we use for uh, stitch markers. I'm also going to use these for my tags instead of instead of um, yarn. I got these. I got two packs of these. I got this one and I got one in purple because purple is my favorite color. Now these are large um, paper clips with the indent for to put your pen or your pencil. So I got, I forgot I ordered these ones and I ordered the purple. But they'll get used anyways. Okay. This here, now I'm going to have to go on, because this just gives a number, yeah, but I think I got this for diamond, one to diamond painting for the drills. Now it's got a tooth here and then flat on the bottom, so I think it's for when you place the diamond drill in the wrong spot. You can easily remove it. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right. I got some more Kuwaiti eyes. This is assortment and sizes. Because I don't know, when you're looking for a certain size and color of safety eyes, uh, I, I mean, I have a bag full of, well, it's not full, but I have a bag of um, safety eyes and uh, I can, it's hard for me to find one exactly what I'm looking for. So I got some more. I stock, I slowly stock up my safety eyes so that I have a very wide assortment of safety eyes. Okay, now my stickers I got. Okay, so I got. I'll show you this one. Okay, and this is what I got here and here. Is it two sheets? Oh, they are separate sheets. Okay, so I'll show you one. Comes with the 
all your drills, that um, green tray and the glue and um, the cheaper uh, multi, the, the one that most kits come with the, the tool. Oops. Down there. In there. Now this is the Disney princesses or ladies, little girls. Here, now this is all one sheet. What I plan on doing is cutting in between the stickers itself, so that so that what you get one sticker and selling them separately. Okay, so I got this one, and of course the other sheet like this has um, different different um, characters on it. Okay, I got that one. I got Hello Kitty. I got a Disney one with Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse. Okay. I got a baby L green Ellie alien, aka baby Yoda. I got a stitch and a stitch one with stitch and and Lilu and I think that's uh, anyways a stitch one with characters from Stitch. I got and I got um a Spider Man one. Okay, so that's that and. Oops, I didn't say. Then I got um, this one. I'll take you out and show you. I showed you the one I did like this for Eeyore. I got one with the baby green eye alien. And it come complete with the uh, chain. Sorry. All right. Oh, and I got another pack. Some more safety eyes. These ones. The eyes are like this. The back washer. Then you have the different colors, and let's get this bling so that and uh, different colors. So when you put them behind the eye itself, kind of hard to see, but there is a you do get the different colors shine through. And there's different colors in there. And I believe there's 10 pairs in here. And I think I might have gotten two of these. I'm not sure. Okay, then the other thing I got. Now I have the notifications set for my Timu. I'm also an affiliate. So the link is in the description box. Um, apparently, um, it's only good for Canada. If I'm in Canada, if you're in the States, it's only good for the States. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, my uh, affiliate link is in the description box below of all my videos since becoming an affiliate. And this one, now I paid a penny for this. These are key rings. Mickey and Minnie. Minnie, Mickey, another mini, Mickey, yep, Mickey and Minnie. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, eight. Eight key rings. And of course you get all the other um, things that you need for to make them. So yeah, so just gotta watch for when you get notifications for the feels like that. Now that's my Timu. Excuse some more wrinkling. I think I'm going to pause this while I put it all back in the bag so I don't lose anything. Okay, so now on to my Aberdeen rolls. So I got a bunch of paper here. So look and see. Now this was the mystery bag. Um, due to illness, they had to um, change um, and um, I think they were only doing, they had a brick and mortar store, but I believe they are only doing online mystery bags. They are located in Ontario, Canada, and um, I ordered one mystery bag to help them out. I also got the um, VIP pricing, so I got a discount off my already um, low price. So. Let's check and see what we've got here. So it looks like we've got three patterns here. Um, I think these are all for the same, yes. So this is the Age of Brass and Steam Kerchief. So let me just open this up so you can see a picture of what it, of what it looks like. Trusty Toe Up Socks by Tannis Lavalier or Lavalier. Okay, so this one is um, so the kerchief or mini shawl or shawlette, whatever you want to call it, is a pattern copyrighted, uh, distributed. Um, okay, orange flower yarn. Okay, and you can find it at orangeflowerarn.com. Yarn, Published in 2010. Updated and revised vision version um, published in 2022. So this must be the updated and, and revised ver uh, version. Okay, so orangeflowerarn.com for this one. Then I have another one here. A simple yet effective, a sim super simple cowl by Tin Can Knits. There we are. So knit. Knit and the socks are knit. Yes, three knit patterns. Good thing I knit. Okay, now let's see what's in the bag. So, looks like we got three. Okay, so I got. This is Queensland Collection Walkabout Organic Shetland Wool. This is 100% wool, uh, 50 ounce gram, 1.76 ounces, 157 yards, or 144 meters. Number two weight, which is a fine um, hand wash, do not bleach, do not dry in the dryer. Uh, you can iron probably on low heat. I would probably put a drying cloth on top or my mother used to just use a tea towel and so did I. Um, and you can dry clean with a certain chemical. Okay, so when you get the, the, um, key with the, 
um, circle and then the letter inside the circle means that it can only be dry cleaned using that chemical. So this is the P, whatever the P stands for. Okay, suggested knit gauge and needles. Okay, so um, 23 to 26 inches, or stitches, pardon me, equals 4 inches. A um, US 3 to 5 knitting needle, uh, 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter. Suggested crochet hook uh, is uh, US 4 to 7, so 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter. And the gauge is 16 to 20 stitches is equals to 4 inches. Four inches is a typical uh, measurement for the gauge. And this is in the colorway pe pebble, color number 10. Okay, so this is kind of a kind of a browny gray color. It looks like it's heathered. It shows kind of purple on there, but there is no purple. Okay, so I have that. And so I have two of those. When you get 50 gram balls, you need two. You need two to make one pair. So that's that. If you're going to knit it all in the same, the same yarn. Okay. Oh, I have three. I like what I feel. Okay, ooh, I have some Ella Ray Eco Tweed, organically grown merino wool tweed blend. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is color name Azure, color number 26. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It is so soft. All right, so let's read the back. I'm over here because my light's here so I can see. All right, so it is 3.52 ounces, 100 grams. 328 yards or 300 meters. 75% merino. And 25% polyamide. There's small printing besides those two. That's why I was looking to see what it said, but it's just, it's just part the same thing only different languages okay so we have the key legend um, wash in 30 degrees Celsius uh, do not bleach you can put it in the dryer no you can no I don't know what that one is it's the square with the line through it because the dryer is the one with the square in the circle it says do not do not um, use the dryer you can iron I dry clean again on the P chemical. It is the three weight, which is DK, we all know. I suggested knitting needles and gauge, 21 to 24 stitches per four inches, using a US 5 to 7 or 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter hook needles. Suggested crochet hook is uh, US 7 to 19. I don't think that's right. I think it's 9. 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter hooks and 12 to 17 stitches equals 4 inches. Made in Turkey for Knitting Fever. Um, knittingfever.com. They are also on Facebook, uh, Pinterest. Twitter and it looks like I think that's Instagram so this is gorgeous so the other the walkabout let's see it says where it's made oh made in Turkey again for Euro yarns okay Oh, and I have one more. This is KFI Collection uh, Sock Indulgence Organic. 
Organic merino wool blend. Free stock pattern included. It must be on the back of the ball band. And sheep friendly and no muzzling. All right, so 75% organic wool and 25% polyamide. Uh, okay. Do not bleach. Do not use the dryer. Oh, that's lay flat. The the one with the square and the and the line through it. Lay flat to dry. Okay, three point five two ounces, a hundred grams, four hundred and fifty nine yards to uh, four hundred and twenty meters. Okay. Um, knitting needles. And okay, recommended is 2.25 to 3.25. Okay, US 1 to 3. Or if, in you, or if you're in the UK, uh, 13 to 10. 27 to 32 stitches for 4 inch gauge. Okay, number one, super fine. Uh, crochet is 21 to 32 stitches, so it's um, for crochet hook for your gauge and recommended 2.25 to 3.5 millimeter US B1 to E4 and a UK 13 to 9. Made in Turkey for knitting fever again. And this is called colorway color number 106 Santorini. Santorini. This is pinks and blues and greens. And I see one knot here. And purple and blues. And it looks like grays. So, I put that the right way. Yeah. No. This way. Although it's backwards to you, but yeah. So, that is what I got in my mystery bag from Aberdeen Wools. I will put their link below in the description box. Um, I think I paid, like I paid less than $25 for this. And I'm pretty sure these alone, because sock yarn is expensive, is equal or pretty close to what I paid for the bag. So this, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. This and this one is soft as well. The um, sock yarn, the pebbles here, the walkabout, you can tell there's wool in here. And it's, it's not as soft, like it's not as soft as this one with the polyamide. Because, what did I say, this was 100%? Yes, 100% wool. So, you'd be, you know, if you have a wool allergy, you wouldn't be able to use this or wear it anyways. And this one, oh God, this is so soft. I love getting Hanks. All right, so that is my mystery bag my patterns and everything will be linked down below it's a hot one here um, let's see does it say on the bottom of my what the temperature is the time Okay, wait a minute here. 37 degrees Celsius. Whatever that is in Fahrenheit, it's hot. Okay, so that is what I have. And I showed you my Timu, my makes, what I'm still working on. My other ones are still on time out. 
till I get my safety eyes sorted. Um, and I showed you my yarn haul from Michaels and Walmart. Did I get from Walmart? Yes, Michaels and Walmart. I showed you that. Okay. So I'll continue on from there. Um, I haven't started the Care Bears yet. Right now I'm focusing on um, the smaller items and the quicker, quicker um, ones that the ones that take less time to make. So, and I found using in the bowl or a basket works great because you can do your um, projects in stages. So. What I did with my Pokemon balls is I did one color first. I did all of those that I wanted to do. Then I um, added my black in the middle. Now, I'm gonna show you something here. Okay, this Pokemon ball has one row of black. These ones I put an extra row because the yarn's a little thinner it's a little thinner, so I did an extra. So that's my difference of the balls. So that's that. But yeah, and then I, so I did the blacks. Then I did the reds and stuffed them. Um, so the ends in, put them aside. Then I did the, <laughs> good thing, my basket's here. Then I did the button here. I did those in stages too, so I did all the white parts first, then I did the black parts and finished them off, and then I sewed them all on one after the other. Okay, so that's just a tip I picked up from um, watching a couple of other uh, YouTube uh, content providers, um, watching their um, come prep with me or uh, market prepping videos. So good tip to do so that I started doing that as much as I can all right um, that's all I have for now and until next time this Lauren Chatelaine makes saying well, pardon me have a good day and a good week today is Tuesday the 23rd of, Jan of July I was gonna say January oh it's pretty hot for January okay so hope you have a, a, a good week and until next time, this is Lorraine Chatelaine Meg saying bye for now. And don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers.